I'm T Pain from impatientprogrammer.net, and this is PySide and PyQt resources in two minutes. In a bit, I will be showing you a cool file called QtPy. What what it does is very cute. Okay. PySide and PyQt come with two vitally important sets of files as well. When you install PySide or PyQt, it comes with an extra file called qtdemo.py. The approximate path is going to be over there on the right hand side, as you see, for Linux and Windows users. A simple search for qtdemo.py within your Python folder should be all you need to find this file. And this file, when run in the command line, will allow you to easily open hundreds of pre-made Python and PyQt examples for everything you could hope to build with Qt. Here's a simple example where a game was created using Qt. You can then examine the files themselves to see how they are made, as they are all right next to the qtdemos.py file. The next use for tool I'd like to show you is Qt Designer, which also comes installed with PyQt and PySide. It's just designer.exe or designer on Linux that you can enter in the command line or navigate to. This is a simple Qt layout tool that you can use to mock up any tools or programs you'd like to develop. Finally, there is a brilliant GitHub project that aims to allow your Python code to work on PySide and PyQt, regardless of what your users have installed. Link in the description. Simply download and include this qt.py or qtpy file in your project files and use its bindings to ensure it works. All code we will be writing will be using this module. Again, all code we will be writing will be using this qt.py module. Its goal was to change everything to be in the style of PySide 2, which is still in development. All right, if you would like to see a practical application built from scratch, check out my tool development series linked in the description. Thank you so much to my wonderful patrons, and as always, like, subscribe, and keep the dream alive.